hi guys you welcome back to my channel my name is kemi omorogbe in case kemi omorogbe let me call it properly somebody posted a comment on a video on my sewing channel and the person was like i wish the yoruba people pronounce their names properly and i was like i pronounce it properly <laughs> well my name is kemi omorogbe omorogbe is not a yoruba name it's a benin name that's my husband's surname i'm a content creator based in benin city Edo state of Nigeria in West Africa. Africa. I've been super busy since the beginning of this year. Moving into here, tidying things up. Plus, my help left impromptu. She saved me breakfast. <laughs> I'll tell you guys just about that probably in another video because it's a full story time on its own. So, yes, it's been plenty of running around trying to stabilize. With three kids and still having to work on this place cleaning fixing curtains blah 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 blah. You, you guys must have seen the vlog it's been a lot it's just now i'm trying to you know get back into my regular reading because here yeah, we have a new help we are done doing a major part of the moving process we are like shuttling two houses currently here weekends but i'm trying to structure my life so that i can be productive my plan is to vlog weekends and edit during the weekdays so most likely most of the vlogs you'll be seeing i'll be here yeah we got a new help like i may have said and she has been super helpful then i got back into exercising i was able to do like twice last week i'm just basically warming up so that i can gradually get into tougher exercises that will help me lose weight but i'm kind of trying to gain strength and it's been so nice you know just to be back first time in over a year pregnancy postpartum and all of that and even when i walked out i didn't have any pain on my scar that kind of felt nice because i was anticipating i would have some pain because with my other children after cs when i started exercising i was feeling pain there so i didn't feel any pain i gave it five whole months intentionally that was my aim that Babe, don't just worry yourself. You see this body, we are going to deal with it later. Just try to survive this phase. So it's been an intentional journey of eating, breastfeeding, and just basically not making effort when it comes to my body. But now I think I'm ready to get back into my regular mood and try to fit in some exercises. Then I'll be enrolling for a weight loss program because I know that I can't do it alone. Like having that accountability that will help me be consistent with my weight loss. I want to get enrolled under a weight loss um, coach maybe for a month and from there I'll see how far I can take it. Then I also started reading. Mm -mm -mm. If you know Kemi, you know that I used to read a lot until I got married. Pregnancy, children. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not easy doing some things once you are married. And this is for the singles. Guys, just enjoy yourself right now. Do the things you really want to do. Travel, read books, and all that. Hi. Tiara, say hi now. Hmm? You want to sleep? She wants to sleep. Don't take my mic. Come on. Reading is one of the things that went, you know, back on my scale of priority. And I started reading again. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits. I've always wanted to read that book. My favorite books are motivational books christian fiction like i love karen kingsbury and i love francine rivers you know those type of books i love 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 them i haven't read any in years and then i like spiritual books one of my favorites of you know more religious christian books are like spirit control temperament um purpose driven life if you have read any of these books let me know in the comment section so you know those kind of books i love them like i said i'm currently reading atomic habits but next will be welcome holy spirit i've always wanted to like know more about the holy spirit learn more and open myself more to experience the holy spirit some more we have been shuffling these two houses guys not actually easy but mm. i want to show you guys some items i got to help me make better videos for you i'm kind of trying to be more intentional with my quality 
I'm trying to learn more and to up my game when it comes to content creation because that's like my primary job right now. And you guys know I've been unboxing some things earlier on that I got from AliExpress. So they didn't come at once. So this ones came much later. And let me show you guys the most exciting one out of all of this. It is my lens. I have a 50 mm lens now and I can't be happier. <laughs> guys, the day this thing got to me, I took it. I wanted to cry. Like I felt emotional. I got this thing for eight dollars on AliExpress. Um, it was supposed to be Black Friday, but the person I bought from originally, I bought the Canon originally, cancelled, and then it was no longer Black Friday, and I had to still buy. So I, I bought this eighty-eight dollars. That's the actual price. I could not go for the Canon again because the Canon was over my budget, over my budget, one hundred and twenty something dollar as at then. So this is the Yongno Yongno fifty mm lens. Guys, I wanted to cry when I received this, and that's because I just felt emotional. You know, for the later part of last year and the early part of this year, the song in my spirit has been. Everything I've been wanting, manifesting for my life. I just felt like I was able to get a lot of the things that I have been looking forward to getting. I always wanted a 50mm lens, both for sit-down talk videos and for photography. But for some reasons, I couldn't because every time I had a little cash on me, something was just, you know, higher on the scale of priorities. So when I got this, I was like, finally i need this for pictures for sit down talk videos if i can i'll show you guys a clip okay you can't vlog with this by the way but you can definitely do sit down talk videos with this and you get like a crisp quality so this is what the lens looks like if you have what do they call the mirror a canon mirrorless camera you will need an adapter so yes i did get an adapter as well but this is my lens okay guys i was actually interrupted because i needed more space on my camera um let me go back to showing you this this is youngno f1.8 youngno 50 mm f1.8 2 so there's one and two but this is the two the two is better than one i think it focuses better and makes less noise and some other advantages so i'm just really happy so get ready to see some crisp looking sit down talk videos and nice pictures as well so let me set this apart this is the i think i will install this on my camera so that you guys see the difference between this one i'm currently using the 22 mm lens this is the adapter that i bought i think I also got this one on discount. I got it less than $20. And I think the original price is around maybe 30. This is the Vitrox adapter. It's just an adapter basically. It doesn't have like anything inside it. It's blank, blank. It's just a hole. If your camera only supports EFM lens and you want to convert the EFM lens to EF. Only if you use the camera, you understand what I'm saying. So this is what you need for that conversion to happen seamlessly. So I have some other items that I bought alongside. Just items that are somehow useful for my creator journey. So I saw this laptop stand. And if you work for long on your system, looking down like this, you can put a strain on your neck and your shoulders. So raising the laptop up on your working table kind of makes forces you to look up rather than down. So yeah, that was what I got this, the laptop stand. And then it came in this pack. The lens I bought came with some cleaning items. This, um, what do we call it, a napkin and this pump just to help you dust off dust without touching okay and this is a brush so this came with the lens i bought one day one day i'll be able to put up the link to all of this let me just try and figure out aliexpress affiliate program properly 
then i'll drop all the links necessary in the description box i actually enrolled for the program but i don't, I don't understand it so this one are uh, cleaning swabs for senso so it comes in different sizes you come closer this one is 16 mm so you can just google your length to find out the width of the sensor because you need the exact size so that it cleans from edge to edge of your sensor these ones are dry they have the wet variant of this but i decided to go for the dry because i thought i ordered for a sensor cleaning fluid but apparently they delivered another thing this is a cleaning liquid they said it's for screens and lcd i don't know how safe this will be for a sensor because the sensor is very sensitive so i'm not sure i want to try this on my sensor i'm just going to use this to clean other surfaces but for the sensor i may just try only the dry swab to see if it helps i have some stains on my sensor which i'll need to clean another thing i got for content creation is this dummy battery it's just like your regular camera battery it comes with a cord with this one should be attached to a usb port your regular charger port what this will allow you to do is if you're filming long videos and you don't want to be changing batteries let's say you're filming a podcast and you don't want to keep you know going back to change your batteries you can use a dummy battery see there's nothing inside it's not actually a battery but when you fix it to your camera and you attach this you can use your power bank or just connect it to a direct power supply and your camera will you know run like nothing so with this you can film longer videos that's the essence of it so i may be having a guest on the show or i just have an extremely long video to film i think that will come in handy last but not the least is this camera stand for cars it is very similar to the stand for phone that i see i actually have one of those but this one allows you to attach your camera in here so it has the 3.5 mm stuff but you can also attach a phone stand your own phone stand to it now i think this will work for very small camera if your camera is not small you may have to buy something you know bigger and heavier than this it will also be helpful for when you're not driving you just want to film a video in your car you just drop it and film the video i'm not sure if it can hold even my size of camera my camera is small but not the very very small type so if you're using like small vlogging cameras i think this will be very nice but yeah i am eager to see how this hold up so that's it that's it for the unboxing i just want to get into other things we have homework to do dinner to prepare um just enjoy being at home it's a saturday so 